welcome back to my returning viewers and subscribers uh, guys thank you for being here so in today's video guys i'm just going to take you through my evening yeah it's not a routine though uh i just want to spend this evening with you uh yeah just take you through what i'm going to do and if you are new here my name is adele for adelaide and you are very much welcome and yeah don't leave without doing the right thing guys please subscribe onto this channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it will really help this channel to grow guys i appreciate your support so far so yeah let's enjoy the video guys guys don't mind the laundry we'll tackle the laundry later right now i just want to show you my my little garden guys you can see there i planted the spinach the mustard spinach mokwariba remember this space guys it, it, it used to have uh, the sweet potatoes so now i have planted the spinach it's growing very well it's so fresh so fresh guys so you can see this part this is where this is um the sweet potato it refuses to die guys but you can see it already the roots are coming out because i'm not taking care of it so yeah guys here are my mustard spinach and this side there's my uh, flower that side there it's some beetroot this side here is some beetroot guys don't mind those things it's bonolos things today it's my first harvest guys from this spinach i'm very much happy and i'm so impressed yeah guys because last year i was discouraged uh, you remember i did share with you my small garden it was that other side the soil was not good so yeah i got disappointed and was discouraged at some stage so this year i just yeah took a leap of faith and yeah i just uh tried on this space uh since i've seen that the sweet potato was doing very good so yeah i can see that this side this soil it's very very fertile uh it's very good guys so yeah let's plant guys let's plant the the veggies <laughs> things are expensive guys so i'm here to encourage someone out there guys if you want to plant something uh you know as i have said that things are expensive uh do not be discouraged like the space that you are having just utilize it it doesn't have to be big uh that space that you are having it can be a in a bucket or in a a, a sack or something just um yeah be creative uh yeah it will really give a relief on the finances guys really really things are expensive so yeah uh hope you are encouraged hope you are motivated to plant your own uh kitchen garden or vegetable garden guys so i washed the uh, utensils earlier on so right now i'm just wiping them and putting them away to create a space guys because i'm going to make another mess the i'm going to prepare a dinner so this means i have to create a space for another utensils to come so this is what i'm doing at this moment what if I'm not good? What if I'm not good? If you never love me back
that I always had to be good But being good always be problems, is true So I learn it, I learn it, and now I know I don't wanna play, the play, the play But man, I'm crazy, I'm crazy, better not wrong, baby, it's true, yeah this evening we're going to have this spinach straight from the garden guys organic fresh <laughs> yo the feeling is so nice i always tell you this guys it's so nice um, so yeah here i'm just thoroughly washing it then i'm going to chop then cook it uh yeah nothing much guys as i go guys especially in the evenings yeah because after having dinner i don't want to do much guys uh yes so this is what i am doing as i'm cooking so guys uh as i remember i told you when i was sharing with you my evening routine that uh during winter i start to cook early earlier than in summer so i bought th these things from a certain lady Butle Butle. she's selling this from Butle Butle. yeah you know we have to support local business this warmer they call it food warmer so yeah 
I bought it for long, but I was not using it. So but nowadays I'm starting to use it. It keeps the, the food warm, warm, guys. By the time we're going to have dinner, this pup will still be hot as from the pot. So yeah, let's support local business, guys. beetroot guys i have boiled it uh, in the morning only to realize that i have run out of uh, chutney and vinegar because that's how i preserve it that's how i prepare it so i have tested them guys they are so sweet very very sweet so i decided to chop them down and i'm going to have them as they are and they are much healthier like this so yeah to shop right 
to get some snacks for my son because the following day guys he's going for a sports school trip so yeah I, uh, my husband forgot to buy him on his way back from work so we had to run because uh, they will be going early in the morning before the shops can open yeah the school does provide lunch for them there but I just prefer to buy him some snacks, uh, yeah, something to carry, for him to carry, yeah. So this is what I got for him. So yeah, guys, um, my family enjoyed this meal with some meat, some leftover meat. So I had to enjoy it with the with uh, this spinach, guys. It was so nice. I really enjoyed it. It was so sweet, so nice, you know, eating some organic food it's very nice So guys, I thank God on this day I got strength and time to tackle my laundry in the evening. Uh, since you know that I don't do much in the evening, guys. Uh, but I think it was because there was not much to do in the kitchen after dinner, guys. Because most of the things or I can say most of the utensils I was washing while, while cooking. I was cleaning as I go. So I just washed the utensils that we have used. Then I was done. Uh, yeah, so my husband recruited me to come and watch TV with him, guys. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I'm not a TV person. Yeah, so I grabbed my basket and come and enjoy uh the tv with him we were watching live uh it was a church going on so we were we were watching live so yeah uh i thank god i managed to do this guys <laughs> 